Okay, I have finished all the punching. I'm going to remove the fabric from the frame. And next I will cut around. Maybe half to three quarters of an inch. Not a lot. Now if I'm making a big project, I will get my iron out and, and steam it. But this is a small one, so I'm not really concerned about that. So, I took two strands of the last color that I used and I'm going to go along the edge here as close as I can. I'm just going to kind of make it like a gathering stitch so it's not going to be a tight stitch but I'm going to go around the edge like that. This is actually the first time I've tried it this way, so we're kind of doing an experiment together here. Sometimes that needle's a little hard to get through. Sometimes you might need to pick up a little help. Just be careful. My hands are just not very strong anymore. The idea is that when we gather this, it's going to help to pull that around. Since I'm not going to get the iron out. Too many threads getting in the way here. Just remember it's not the right way, the wrong way. Just figure out your way. You'll visit all kinds of places online and you'll find different tips and you'll pick up things from one person or another and just make up what you can and do things that work the best for you. I think punch needle is just such a beautiful art that I really enjoy trying to share and get other people interested in it. By the way, the little flashlight tip to look at, I just did that today. I hadn't even thought about that before. And it just hit me that Hey, what if you shine a light through that? You could see the open spaces, and sure enough, it's exactly what happened. That can come in handy in the future. See, I used to, you know, every time I would do one of these, I'd get my sewing machine out, and now I'm just trying to find ways that it's easy just to do it by hand. And you feel, I guess I feel a little bit more accomplished when I can do these little stitches by hand than to get out that machine. Don't really have the space to keep that machine out all the time. I probably do, but I just, it's just not what I want to do. This has been a pretty quick project on a Sunday afternoon. I 
Just think when you need a little personalized gift for someone, how quick you can put something like this together. Okay, so I'm going to pull that needle off and I'm going to cut these strands off. I just want to pull this just a little bit so that I get a turn. Get a little bit of a turn in here. You see that? Just kind of helps to pull that around. And I'm not even going to tie those ends. I just did it to kind of help to, to pull that circle in. Okay. Now I've already cut my just little piece of wool. Now I could go ahead and um, just leave one small space open for stuffing, but I really don't like to do that. It just seems like there's always a place that wants to kind of pinch up. So what I end up doing is I just go ahead and sew the whole thing on and then I cut the back and stuff it from the back. So I'm threading a needle back here, trying to, trying to stay with as small as needle as I can because I'm just going to use one strand of that number 12 Baldoni to stitch on this piece of wool. I'm going to start anywhere. It's not going to be perfect. It's one thing you're going to want to keep in mind is that, you know, it's not going to be perfect and and you know that. So, I always like to sneak my knot in underneath some way, so I'll stick it up under there so you won't see my knotted thread. Okay, I'm going to whip this around and I'll be back. Let's see, just going to do a little whip stitch around the edge. <laughs> 